Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pixie Love. You guys can call me Pixie. And today we're doing some R slash fat logic. Come on, y'all know what's coming. One of my favorite subreddits to do. This is gonna be posted a little later in the day. I think it's be around four-ish, cause I I get more of my viewers are on YouTube around that time. So I'm gonna try posting it later in the day to see if that helps, you know. I don't know, I'm trying some new things out. Let's jump into these crazy ass people. The Diet Culture Kid says, My body and other bodies can and should conform to the thin ideal through restrictions. The Diet Free Kid says, My body is good no matter what its size, and I can choose a variety of foods to fuel it. The Anti Diet Kid says, A system of weight based oppression rooted in racism and Patriarchy is unjust. All bodies are good bodies and all bodies deserve respect and care. I agree. All bodies deserve respect and care. But are you caring for your body if you continue to be overweight your whole fucking life? No ma'am. You are not caring for your body. Just saying. Diets are a cure that doesn't work for a disease that doesn't exist was one of the slogans said by the first fat activist movement in the 60s. This is not new information. We talked about this. We talked about that movement. That movement was started by a bunch of white men. And I, I only say that because you guys ride so hard on the fat activist movement from the 60s, not, knowing, not even knowing their origins. But you guys are all like, fuck the patriarchy. Aren't white men the patriarchy? So wouldn't the fat activist movement be a part of the patriarchy since it was started by fat by white men? I'm just so confused on who the enemy is here. I just need to know. And I'm not saying, you know, white men are evil, but I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to think like them, okay? White people are evil, you know, especially white men. They're the patriarchy, they're horrible. They ruined this whole fucking country, you know? So I just, I don't understand why they're praising a movement started by these people that they don't really like. Also, diets, once again, is just the way you eat, okay? If you eat 20,000 calories a day, and you eat hamburgers every fucking day, and you eat nachos and tacos and cheese and bread and gluten and all that fucking crazy shit every day, that is still your diet. If you only eat a slice of bread a day, that's still your diet. Diet is literally just what you eat, okay? A diet does tend to reference trying to, you know, cut down on what you eat and lose weight, but it's more like not going on a diet, it's more you are changing your diet. You're changing what you eat to lose weight. But diet, period, is just what you eat. You know what? I wanted this to be a quick, short video, but it seems like Pixie is gonna have to do some research for you guys real quick. But let's read this. Diabetes is beautiful. And I can't read what it says in Spanish. I'm not gonna translate it because I'm not gonna type all that in. If anyone speaks Spanish, please translate it for me in the comments. But, you know, I think it says something to celebrate. Diabetes is natural. Let's look up what diabetes can do to your body. These don't seem like fun. They don't seem beautiful, personally, to me. Here are some more symptoms and some complications from diabetes. Heart attack, blindness, kidney failures, and foot problems. I was gonna show you guys some swollen feet, but I'm not about that life, so we're not dealing with that. Anyway, that does not seem like fun, lovely, beautiful at all. But you know, diabetes is beautiful. <sighs> all right, we're gonna go back onto the subreddit because I'm not gonna, like I said, I want this to be a quick video, but I just want to show some side effects of diabetes because that was some delusional fucking thinking. We would never expect to squeeze a Labrador down to the size of a Chihuahua, yet we are still expecting humans to all be the same size. Alright, let me explain something to this person because this person is a fucking idiot. Okay? And this is why I really hate the term race when it comes to humans because it makes it seem like we're all really different. When there is more difference between different dog breeds than there are with human beings. Okay? And here's, you guys fucking talk in extremes. Like we're saying that every single person should be 130 pounds, no more, no less. No, that's not what we're saying. 
body type should be taken into consideration. Your height should be taken in con into consideration as well. You should be within a certain range, but no human should be naturally 300 pounds. No one is naturally 300 pounds. No one is naturally 400 pounds. No one is naturally 600 pounds. Okay? But a Great Dane from a puppy to a dog, to a adult dog, grows really quickly and really fast. A Chihuahua does not grow that fast. And it's more their height than their size. Okay? I just don't understand how you guys don't fucking realize that we're not fucking dogs. You're comparing humans to dogs. We're not a fucking dog. It's like doing a it's like I it's like doing a a fucking autopsy on the dog, right? And I'm like, oh, the dog's lungs are in this part of the body and the dog's heart is here. That must be the same for a human body. No. Because we're not the same fucking breed. You cannot compare us because we're not the same breed. Our bodies don't work the same way as a fucking dog. Just like a couple weeks ago, someone was talking about how well, no one makes fun of bears for overeating, but yet humans, we're not fucking bears. Why are you comparing us to fucking animals? We're not fucking animals. All right, this is gonna be my last one and I can't wait, let's go. Weight is like height and the fact that it's determined by your genetics for, most of the, for, most, for the most part. The sooner we can accept this, the sooner we are able to start dismantling the system throughout society that was created to oppress fat folks. Listen, society was not created to oppress fat people. We're not going over this shit, okay? Anyway, okay. You said um, weight is determined by genetics, right? Well, this picture right here is a picture of me, my dad, and my sister. My little sister's skinny. My dad is a healthy man, and damn, I'm fucking small. I was really skinny back then. So please explain to me why I'm fat now. Please. Um, because my little sister is still skinny, my dad is still skinny, and I'm not. My mom is still skinny. Let's see, let, let's see if I can find more pictures of my family to dispute your fucking bullshit. Because I love it. That one gets me so hard. Because the reason why people think that it's genetic is because your parents passed down their bad eating habits to you. I got, my grandmother passed down her bad eating habits to me. She was the only person in my family who was really overweight. And like some of my family are bigger, but they weren't to the extent of me being morbidly obese than my grandmother. But, <laughs> genetics where? Like, I did not get being fat from my grandmother. I got my bad eating habits and my love of food from her. But I just wanna, I just wanna find more pictures of my family to just hear your bullshit. <laughs> that right here? That's my mother. Where is my fat genetics from? Where, where is it coming from? Let me see if I can find my, let me show you my sisters. Hold on. This is all but one of my siblings, okay? Brother, brother, brother. They're all very healthy weight men. Sister, sister, sisters. All pretty healthy. She, right here, is a little overweight as well. But also she has big ass boobs, so she looks a lot bigger than she is. Sister, sister. But yet I am almost 300 pounds. I just, I, where did I get my fat gene from? Man, where the fuck did it come from? And I'm not blaming my grandmother because um, it's her, her grandmother, it's her grandmother, it's her grandmother, it's his grandmother, it's her grandmother. <laughs> They have a different, these are my dad's kids, so they have a different grandmother. This is my mother's grandmother. Where's the fat gene? Me and my grandmother were very, very close. I was closer to her than anyone else. I love that woman. She basically raised me. I would go out to eat with her every freaking week. That is where I got my love of food, and that is when I, I became overweight. When I was living with my dad and his family, you guys saw the picture of me when I was younger, I was a very skinny child. Now, I'm not. I moved in with her. Shit happened. I just, I love this. Like, I'm just like, you guys sadly don't really have any pictures of my uh, grandmother who passed away, the one who I got my habits from, but this is another one of my grandmothers. She's also not fat. She's just 
slightly bigger. She's bigger because she's an old lady, but she's not even fat. I can show you her when she was younger too. This was her when she was younger. She wasn't fat either. She just had children. So I'm the one person in my family who got the fat gene from my one grandmother. Cool. You guys got to see a little bit of my family. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was fun. This was supposed to be a quick short video, but um, it wasn't. It's never like that with me. I'm always like, I want to be quick and short and then I record for 30 fucking minutes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys like me, make sure you guys subscribe because I do videos Monday through Friday. If you guys want to see my lovely face, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter for my other social medias. It's all up there. Pixie Love Facts is for two. You guys can read, alright? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.